guys, it's Megan and today I wanted just to sit down and chat with you guys about some makeup products that some I've shown you, some I haven't, and just kind of give you updates on them, chat about them, just like some girl talk, and I'm still like adapting to my Invisalign, and sorry I like bring it up in every video, but I feel like it's so, it like has changed so much about like my life, and I'm definitely going to do a full video on it um but yeah so I'm still like learning how to talk like I've said and I just get very like spitty kind of so apologies for that but I just had like random things to say about random products that I used recently and so I was like let's just do kind of a hodgepodge video talking about just like all sorts of random makeup products. And the one that I wanted to talk about the most is the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. So this is not a new release, but I just got this and oh my goodness, it is beautiful. It is way better than I even like expected or yeah, I guess expect it because of course I hoped that it was this good, but you just never really know. So today I am wearing this and I'll zoom you guys in to see my makeup up close. But I pretty much used, not all the colors, but I used most of the mattes. I started off with the Shell Yeah, which is like the most like terracotta kind of color. I did that all over the lid and like buffed it into the crease. And then I added a lovely bunch right to the edge of the crease. You can see that like warm transition color and then I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it all matte or not so I put the highlight shade palm reader which I think is so cute in my inner corner and this is very pigmented but then when you like blend it out it's just this beautiful like sheen so that is really really nice and then I was like, let's just go for a shimmery eye because I love a good metallic. So all over the lid, I use Cocoa Crush. And so that is the like super beautiful metallic shade. And I actually foiled it. I put it on first dry and it was really pretty. But then I just used some setting spray and packed it on even more. And so now it's like super, super metallic. And then right in the outer corner, I used Nutty just for that little smokiness. And then I used some brown eyeliner and I called it a day. So that is what I did for my eye makeup and I really love it. I feel like I'm going to get tons of use out of this. This is more of a like neutral palette than most palettes are these days. Like almost all palettes are like super warm tones and that's just not my vibe and this is so up my alley so if you're going to place a ColourPop order definitely consider getting this it's only $12 this color de coco which I didn't use today looks really pretty oh my god that is definitely gonna be one of my favorites oh my goodness so I'm just excited to play more with this you could do all matte looks you could do like a really kind of like smoky look the look that I did today is kind of like my standard look but I feel like I use so many eyeshadows compared to normal but it the end result is just absolutely gorgeous so I really wanted to mention that and I just saw this I think that's a mosquito bite and I woke up and I was washing my face and I was like, oh my god, what is that? Like a huge pimple? But um, <laughs> we were cleaning our, um, like we've been doing a lot of decluttering. We were decluttering our like kitchen cabinets with all of our cups and mugs. And I was like up on our step stool and like my mom and sister were down below. So I was like handing them to them like, should we keep this? Should we keep that? And there was a mosquito in our house and it was like buzzing around me and my mom goes, just wait, let me get it. And she smacks me in the head. <laughs> it was hilarious, but I like didn't expect it. I thought she was just gonna like swat at it, but she literally like, hit me in the head, but it must've got me still. So that'll be annoying if that becomes really itchy. But <laughs> yeah, I was just like, what is that bump? But anyway, so love this palette and that was a great purchase for 
like really inexpensive and then an eyeshadow i wore in a few videos that everyone was like what is on your eyes it was like my shot my stash and i think my current favorites um i use the la girl ooh la la pressed glitter and this is $5.99 full price but i'm waiting for ulta to do like a discount on um these products because i will definitely want to pick up some more but it is such a beautiful beautiful pressed glitter formula it is so rich in pigment and like it's just like densely packed with glitter and i used a glitter primer just so then it had like something to stick to but that is just on nothing like that's just bare skin and it still like adheres really really nicely so I'm very impressed with that and I love that it's just like a little pot like this with a lid like all of my other pressed glitters are just like a pan and then I could put it in a Z palette but I like that this is like contained and I don't know I just like this packaging a lot so I'm probably gonna get some more of those but if you were wondering what was like the super glittery eyeshadow I was wearing it was that oh randomly today I tried just like a, a random perfume sample that I have like in my little um one of you guys said it's like an old candy dish it's a vintage dish that I have in my bathroom with all my little perfume samples I just looked through it from time to time and I picked out the Prada candy sugar pop which I thought would be super, super sweet. Like Prada candy is like vanilla. Sugar pop sounds like it'll be like candy. This is actually like, this smells just like per perfumes my mom wore when I was a kid. And it's very like powdery floral. And I looked up the notes because I just couldn't like pinpoint what it is. And of course now my search was removed, but um, it says that it's a powdery floral keynotes green bergamot apple and vanilla um but it's definitely a powdery floral so this smells amazing i would definitely get a full bottle of this because to me it just smells so good like i don't know how to describe it other than it smells like my mom and i love that so <laughs> that was a fun one to like just randomly discover okay this i have got to talk to you guys about so I am so lucky. I was sent the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. So this is a new product and I was so intrigued when I saw this was coming out because I really like the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is like so hyped and it took me so long to finally give in but this is so so good. I know that I will wear this constantly throughout the fall and winter when my skin needs more moisture for under my makeup. It smells so good like um like citrus kind of and it just feels amazing going on the skin and it's a really good base for your makeup so this is a super popular product this is super expensive it's 60 dollars for 1.7 fluid ounce thankfully a little bit goes a really long way with this it's very thick and you only need a little bit to really like spread out so i really like that and then when I saw the eye base was coming out, I was like, that's very intriguing. Like, what is the purpose of it? What's the difference? I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. It's called an eye base, so I wasn't sure if that meant, like, an eye primer or, like, an under eye base, like an eye cream almost. And so I looked it up, and it says for your under eyes. So I feel like that should definitely be on this like package um it just says vitamin enriched eye base so to me that sounds like an eyelid primer of sorts it's basically the same exact consistency as the face base and i just have been using what's on this little cap because a little bit definitely goes a long way because you're only putting it under your eyes. I did put it all over my eye area, like under eye and on my lid. But then when I read more about it and it said to use under your eyes, I like wiped it off my lid because I already have oily, oily lids. It says it moisturizes, smooths, and primes. So to me, this would potentially be really great if under eye, like, 
creasing or like dryness is a major concern for you like if you're maybe a little older or have like a lot of like just dry skin under your eyes and you want to smooth it and moisturize that area before you put on makeup I think this would potentially be a really good product for you but for me I just don't think this is necessary when they already have this like the face base I put all over my face including my under eyes and it's never irritated me and I have pretty sensitive skin and eyes um and I forgot to mention the eye base is $54 the face base is $60 and you can see the size difference the eye base is 0.5 ounce and the vitamin enriched face base is 1.7 ounce like I mentioned before so you definitely get like barely any for the price and I looked up the ingredients because I was like if this is like the same thing repackaged in a smaller container I'll be so upset and it is different um the eye base has a lot longer of an ingredients list um looks like there's more like extracts like um carrot spinach blueberry broccoli extract all sorts of other ingredients that are probably really great um like the second ingredient is dimethicone which i don't necessarily love on the face base dimethicone is really far down the list like about halfway down but for both of these just know that one of the primary ingredients is shea butter so if you're sensitive to that definitely like don't <laughs> use these but I don't know for me my under eye area isn't a major concern and like I said I use the face base also like under my eyes so this kind of just isn't necessarily for me but I can see someone else really enjoying it it's just the price that is really a like big barrier for me like if this was $40 I could see that more realistically but for both of these to be almost the same price and to see the size difference like I don't know so I just wanted to give you guys my um two cents on that and yeah like I think it's nice it definitely gave a nice base for my concealer but like I said I don't think you need the eye base if you already have the face base and that's just my like opinion so there's that and speaking of under eye concealer I use the Tarte Shape Tape the little mini that I got from Ulta this is literally the tiniest little thing and this was ten dollars but I'm glad I got this to try it because I already have so many concealers but this concealer is very very light like I have fair skin but this is really light this is um 12n fair neutral and I could definitely go up a few shades but what I do if my concealer is too light for me like a light concealer is nice because it gives you a brightness but if it's too light to me it looks like weird <laughs> so the way I like counteract that is I put my concealer on first before my foundation so then I can like blend the foundation into the concealer and like just help that color not be as like stark so that's what I did I just put a little bit under each eye and then just blended it in and then just put my foundation on top and I think it looks a lot more like how I like my makeup and so that, that's just a little tip that I wanted to mention to you guys in case you order a concealer online or something and it's way lighter than you expected um that's one way that I kind of balance that out and I've been continuing to try the hourglass veil um powder and the more I use this the more I like this like I just thought oh it's like any old powder but then when I look up close to my skin it doesn't even look like I put powder on it just looks like skin and that is what I always want so I think this is better than I thought that it was and a little goes a long way with this so I'll definitely continue to keep you guys posted if my thoughts like majorly change but like today it just really struck me like wow 
I put on like a good amount of powder like around my like this part around my nose and stuff so it's not like super shiny and with my lighting and it just looks so natural like even up close so really am impressed with that this is another new product that I was so excited to receive um I'm fortunate like super fortunate to be on benefits PR list which is like mind-blowing to me like I still don't understand how that's possible it's literally mind-blowing I don't get it but I'm very very thankful um and I got the new brow micro filling pen so this is so cool to me so I love the sleek packaging it's very similar to their other brow products but I just think this looks like so chic and so the thing about this is that it's a little pen with three prongs it's supposed to mimic like microblading so it's what I have in my brows today and I think that this is the most natural product like natural looking product to fill in your brows like you could just do a few little strokes like right where you need it and it just like gives you that nice shape without really looking like you're wearing brow products and I have the shade light brown I believe there's four shades and I just think this is cool like this is not a product I probably would have like tried if it wasn't sent to me but I really like that kind of like natural brow and sometimes with like pomades and powders and gels and all that stuff it just looks very like done up but I think that this gives a really natural look of course you could do like gels on top or whatever but I think if you have thicker brows or thinner brows this could really really work for you and just make a really nice natural looking brow so I'm impressed with this and I was very skeptical because I was like oh come on another little gimmicky thing like this but I'm actually enjoying it a lot and I reach for it over like my pencils and stuff that I normally use so I'll be curious to see how long this lasts because it's like ink um, and I think I will start to store it like vertically upside down just to make sure the ink is getting to the tip but so far I really really like that one thing that I wanted to update you guys on is the summer Fridays lip butter balm so I showed you guys this in my shameful Sephora and Ulta haul and I told you guys that it was like exploding out of the container and thankfully it has not like oozed out anymore but you do have to be very careful like when you open it don't like squeeze the packaging and it's metal so it's kind of hard to squeeze the packaging you do have to like press on it um with some like not like force but like you can't just like accidentally squeeze it because it's um pretty solid packaging i love this i have been using this over my other lip products and that's like crazy to me because I had that bad first impression with it but it smells so good like the perfect vanilla scent and it's very very glossy but not sticky and not like goopy because all you need is the tiniest bit like let me try to show you like when it opens up a little bit usually like bubbles to the top and I just scrape that off and then I just blend it on and usually a little more will bubble to the top so I'll just take that little bit as well and then I'll cap it up before anything else comes out of it and I was already wearing like the lip products but it is just the prettiest like lip treatment ever like that is like the perfect glossy lip and usually I wear this like to bed at night or in the morning um, after I do my skincare if I'm not gonna like do like full-on makeup right away especially if I have like a 9 a.m. meeting or something I'll just put this on and it feels so good it's not like your lips don't like get stuck like to each other and especially with my Invisalign I have to be really aware of the lip products that I'm wearing now because if it's like too thick or it's like 
pigmented or anything it could get on like my trays and my trays like are on top of my teeth so now my teeth are like thicker and I feel like products can get like on my teeth slash trays easier so I don't want like lipstick all over my teeth or lip gloss and this does not like do that it doesn't like get all over the place and it's just really good I'm pretty freaking impressed and yeah so wanted to update you guys on that and the very last thing I wanted to mention is the Fenty Skin um, sunscreen I have been using this every day and it's been a while since I actually looked forward to putting on like sunscreen so first of all that is like a big win like if you look forward to putting on the sunscreen you will wear it every single day and this I just love putting on it is so like silky and amazing it smells so good I love the packaging that you like twist it up and twist it down and it just feels wonderful on the skin it's like a little bit moisturizing but it's also like not really like heavy or oily like it's not oily at all it's just like a really nice creamy consistency and then makeup sits on top of it absolutely beautifully and I just think this is super super good and like I mentioned in my Sephora haul this is formulated to not have any cast on the skin so no matter how light or how dark your skin is this will work for you and I just think that is so needed like everyone needs to wear sunscreen and like I said I look forward to using this because I almost think of it like a primer because it's like that glowy base it's just so beautiful and I love it and I love that it's refillable you just like pop this thing out um and then you just like stick it back in and then you're good to go so I love this and I can't wait for more Fenty Skin products to come out and like to come to Sephora and everything. I think that is going to be a really fun line to keep trying different things from. So that is everything you guys. I just kind of wanted to chat with you and randomly give you updates on some things that I've been using and yeah so if you have any products that you've used lately whether you love them or really didn't like them let us know your thoughts in the comments below if it's anything I showed you here or otherwise we would love to hear your thoughts and it's just so helpful to get like different perspectives on products and like why it works for you and why it doesn't so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.